In this question, we are told that a 50 gram ice at minus 10 degrees Celsius gradually turns to water at 25 degrees Celsius. And we are to find the amount of it consumed in the process. We are given the specific capacity of ice, the latent heat of fusion of ice, and the specific capacity of water. Now, we need to know the processes that ice will go through to turn into water. Now, in this particular question, there are going to be three stages. First, the ice and um, being reduced down to water. Then, at the point of which it is becoming water, then the increase in temperature of water from 0 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. So, we are going to take those three steps. But now, we are giving 50 gram ice, and we need to convert to kilogram. Now, to do that, that will be 50 multiplied by 1 divided by 1,000. Um, the grammage will cut out so that 0 will also cut out. Now, we have this is 5 over 100 kilogram. So this is 5 over 100, and that will be 0 0.05 kg. That's the grammage of ice that we are talking about. Now, if we are looking at this as the three stages that the process will undergo, and um, we have the stage at which the ice is at minus 10 degrees Celsius, then the 0 degrees Celsius where we're having transition from ice to water, and then the water being heated up to 25 degrees Celsius. It will transition through each of these stages. So, in the first instance, we can say we want to indicate our ice. Okay, so let's say we have this as the 50 gram ice, which we have already gotten to be um, 0 0.05 kilogram. So, let's, let's have it in a container that are going to be eating up. Okay, then now, that will take, if we eat from minus 10 degrees Celsius, it will take the ice down to 0 degrees Celsius. And at 0 degrees Celsius, there is going to be a transition of the ice to water. So the ice will be undergoing a process in which it will be turning into water. As shown in the diagram, we have a mixture of ice and water. Then after that is accomplished, the water will also be heated up to 25 degrees Celsius. So these are the three stages that we need to note. We need to know the heat consumed per stage. And if you add them together, we know that that's heat consumed by the whole process. Okay? So now, if you apply heat for each of the stage, you can call that H1, H2, and H3. Okay? Let me add more of these signals. Okay? So we have H1, H2, and H3. So we have H1 to be the mass of the ice multiplied by the specific heat capacity of the ice multiplied by the change in temperature for the ice. Ice going from um, minus 10 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius. It is change in the value, okay? So the mass was given as 0 0.05 kilogram. The specific heat capacity of ice was given as 2,100 joules per Kelvin per kilogram, okay? Now, the change in temperature will be 0 minus minus 10. Please, you don't want to make that mistake. It's not minus 10. It is 0 minus minus 10. We are going from minus 10 to 0. Now, ideally, the temperature is supposed to be in Kelvin, all right? But because both the Celsius and the Kelvin, and um, when we're actually transitioning between them, the changes are linear. If you have um, a 10 degrees Celsius change in Kelvin, it's also going to be a 10 Kelvin change in temperature, okay? So, since it is changes, we don't need to be converting to Kelvin. I will just take the change in the temperature. So, like this now, I'm going to have this to be if I want to calculate that, that will be 0 0.05 times 2,100. Minus minus 10 will become plus. So I say times 10. So the first amount of it that will be consumed in the stage in which the ice is being turned, is being taken from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius is 1,050 joules. That's the amount of it that is consumed. Now in this second case, in which um, the ice is transitioning to um, water, 
I'm going to have that. Now, the same mass will be in place, but instead of using the specific capacitor, I'm going to use the latent heat of fusion because that's what is taking place at this particular stage. So I'm going to have the mass multiplied by the latent heat of fusion. Then the temperature change here is not in common because it's at constant temperature, okay? The height is transitioning to water at constant temperature. So we have 0 0.05 multiplied by 3.34 times 10 raised to power 5 joules per Kelvin. So if you are to multiply that at 0 0.05 times 3.34 times exponent 5, that's 16,700 joules. Okay? All right, that's 16,700 joules. And then after we have gotten um, the ice transformed into um, water, now the water will start from 0 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. And so for us to calculate the heat consumed, we also use MC multiplied by change in theta. Now change in theta is 25 minus 0 now, okay? So the mass, the mass of water is also going to be the mass of the ice because it's still the same substance we are talking about. It's just a transition in state. So we have 0 0.05 times 4,200 times the change in temperature now is 25 minus 0. So that would be 25. So if you bring in our calculator, 0 0.05 times 4,200 times 25, that's 5,250 joules. But we are asked to get the amount of heat that is consumed in the process. So this whole process is going to take a total of the summation of the heat that is consumed per process. So the amount of heat consumed in this process of turning 50 gram ice at minus 10 degrees Celsius to water at 25 degrees Celsius will be the sum of the heat consumed per process, and that will be 1,050 plus 16,700 plus 5,250. And we have to evaluate that plus 16700 plus 5250. That's 23,000 joules. And 23,000 joules is the same as 23 kilojoules, 1,000 kilojoules, okay? So the correct option is option C. Good. That's the solution to our problem. So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit, of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire, that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.